discount bus service, you may have difficulty booking your next trip. The federal government shut down 26 discount bus companies that run, run along I-95 between New York and Florida. Some of them had stops in our area. The move comes a year to the day that a discount bus crashed in Caroline County, killing four people. Senior reporter Wayne Colville is live in Richmond to explain why the companies were told to stop operating. Wayne. Stephanie, the U.S. Department of Transportation says they shut down 26 of these low fare bus companies, declaring them hazards to public safety. The move affects two low fare carriers here in the Richmond area, but some customers say they're unhappy about that decision. I hope they open again soon. Geneva Lynn Steele, who says she's taken about 50 Chinatown bus trips from Richmond to New York, isn't happy with the Department of Transportation's decision to shut down some of the Chinatown buses including two that operate here in Richmond. For me, it's the best way to get there. It's I'm glad that it's less expensive, but I feel safer on the Chinese bus than I feel on Greyhound or on an airplane or in my car. They're making okay. a fortune. Yeah. Kira yeah. Sadal rode a low fare bus to New York last weekend, only her second time. On the way back, our bus was delayed for two hours because they said the transportation department had pulled them for an inspection, which made me feel better. But after hearing she rode a bus owned by one of the companies shut down. Probably not riding a bus again. But she admits there are advantages. If you want to go to New York at the last minute, it may be the train, but the train's $150 and it takes the same amount of time as the bus and the bus is 20. And while still admits there have been a few issues in the past 10 years, she'd ride again, not concerned about her safety. Not really. There are definitely some unsafe moments on the bus. Uh, there, I've seen a guy peel a man mango with his teeth and drive with his knees and eat the mango. The U.S. Department of Transportation did a year-long investigation before shutting down these 26 bus companies, saying the low fare bus services transport more than 1,800 passengers along this I-95 corridor every single day. Now, coming up new at 6, we're finding out that some people, because of the shutdown, have been stranded. They're not able to get back to Richmond. We'll have more on that coming up. Thank you, Wayne. State police have identified a teenage girl killed in a car accident in Dinwiddie County last night as she returned from